Hi, Mark Camosio, Gunmark TV. <clears throat> We've got here to show you a rather um, impressive rifle from Daystate. They're now very famous for the um, pushing the electronic power system, power delivery to the nth degree and they've really stayed with that and they've evolved the range and they're, they are pushing the limits of electronic power management, no doubt about that. Uh, I'm more of a traditionalist. I know there's a whole load of other air gunners out there who are, and so we still want the, you know, there's still a market for the mechanical air gun. And of course, the Huntsman was always their first. This is the Huntsman Revere um, Safari Edition. And whereas with the standard Revere, you had that rather fabulous walnut stock, sporter, beautiful grain, etc they've gone to this uh, slightly feels like synthetic in places but we've had it on good authority this is wood and it, there's a process where they sort of take out the soft sap apparently and it leaves this sort of distressed uh, they call it raised grain finish and it's yeah it's very unusual and it's a funny um, situation because I, well, I must say when I first took delivery of this for test it, I really wasn't keen on it and you had a bit of black residue on the hands there was obviously a bit of oil in the caught in the grain and I wasn't keen but changed my opinion genuinely and the configuration is the whole point of this was to give you a stock with an adjustable cheek piece and a slightly different configuration to sort of evolve the Huntsman um, range and I've got to say I think they've really hit the nail on the head I love the configuration I never quite like that vagueness of the wooden um, profile. I like that angular forend. There's a swell to it as well. It feels really good in the aim. You've obviously got the detailing on here, and then you've got sort of subtle stippling on the cheat on the um, pistol grip, and then the three sort of panels of stippling there, which is is just about right. It's um, sort of low profile, but it's it, it's grip where you need it. And um, but of course this. I, mean, I think they maybe could have done an adjustable butt pad if, uh, if I had to be um, you know, sort of negative on it because that would have just given you the full um, range but to have an adjustable cheek piece in use you make the adjustment there also you can raise and lower the comb and that really does get a it makes a big difference actually I've never been that bothered over the years but I must admit the more I'm playing with adjustable cheek pieces the more you can really see the benefit and it's it's just getting that head in a held consistent position and that's helping minimize parallax error and the whole of you know all the golden rules of shooting this is promoting it and yeah it's, it's a great move but it's it's quite a distinctive um, profile. If you look in the box, you get obviously the Daystate magazine, and that's the new uh, sort of gate. So the gate opens on that, as it was introduced um, with previous models. Then you get a single shot tray, and these snap in using magnets. So you just pull the lever back, drop that in. So if you want a single shot load, and I'm a big fan of that. Um, you've got that to go and obviously you get your charging adapter as you would with uh, most PCPs now. So back to the gun and um, if we look at the features obviously up front you've got a, a thread there to put on a um, secondary silencer. There is a, obviously there's a shrouded barrel here and it does take off a bit of the crack but as we'll see it's still quite noisy so you've got the, the, the potential there to put on a or the option to put on another silencer. Of course, if you stick on a silencer, as when we will we'll demonstrate that in a minute, but you are sort of slightly ruining the profile. It's it's very very compact as it is. But if you're going to hunt, I would say, and this is on test, this has been extremely accurate. I would say you might as well put a silencer on to go the whole hog. But yeah, so you've got shrouded barrel. You've got up front. You've got the manometer, dodgy position as we always say, but it's there nice and clear then you've got a swivel dust cover so you slide that round and then you can put your probe in there once you've charged up the system switch that around and you've stopped all your dust getting in um, moving back so we've got the, the side lever system which as I say has really elevated the Huntsman you know a lot of people still prefer bolts but function wise I think the side lever it's really gaining ground now and most PCPs are moving over to that way then you've got obviously you've got the uh, dovetail rails on your on your breech block there. You've got very nice rocker safety as Dave Bate have always done. So that that's a manual safety catch, and uh, it's in exactly the right place. So you can just do it easily with your thumb, just what you need. 
two stage trigger that's got a lovely sort of straight blade a uh, straight flat surface so the, the and set back so the profile of that is in use it's just a really nice feeling trigger two proper two stage unit mechanical fully adjustable it just works really nicely so yeah you've got everything in place here day state huntsman is it's, it's sort of been good for the company for 40 odd years it's uh a respected name in the business but the Revere has really pushed it and this Safari edition has, um, is just giving another option. <coughs> Firstly the magazine we mentioned this is the new style of magazine that they introduced it's got the gate system it all feels well made I'm a big fan of day state but I've got to say in, on test they put a magnet in the middle of that which then would snap that shut that's fallen out on test and I couldn't get it to stay back in so obviously not enough for uh, bonding or whatever obviously if you had that through you'd just phone them up and they give you, a, you know, they'd give you a replacement so that's all ready now ready to go so you could pull your lever back and then there's this last bit of very mild pressure there required slide your mag in from the right hand side you feel the mag uh, there's another magnet that's what day state do so well a little magnet pulls that in it's in place push it forward and we're now ready to fire through the cycle so we'll just fire a few shots then you can see how smooth that is that the actual cycling of the magazine and the side lever on this particularly smooth and um, really nice you can hear I don't know if you can hear that signature as well it's a very you can feel how crisp the action is and how uh, sort of well set up it is these are regulated actions they're humor regulated so you've got an, there's another manometer underneath that shows the reg pressure on test it's been very consistent and uh, yeah it's it's it cycles really well now you could also poss possibly pick out it was quite there's quite a crack to this. It's not a massive crack, but it is um, surprising. You know, there's a surprising bit of noise. So I would still say, stick a silencer on. So we'll just, uh, I'll just show you the, let's hope you can pick out the difference. So any half inch UNF compatible silencer, just screwed straight on. Simple, I'd say you've, you've made it a bit longer, but uh, it certainly, it balances really nicely. And uh, we'll just see how that goes. Like probably not going to pick out much difference on there but we have got portings on to be honest on our silencer here so but you can you know you can dramatically kill the noise on these obviously the big feature of this was the introduction of an adjustable cheek piece and this very distinctive stock but i think they've really done a good job and oh, well, these aren't cheap no day states are cheap these days but um, you are paying for a very respected brand and um, yeah I think this is this is really hitting a nail on the head so that's the Huntsman Revere Safari Edition.